Ah, beautiful Boulder, Colorado. The majestic Flatirons, the bounty of hills and mountains of <coughs> trash that could have been recycled or composted? Turns out 90% of what we throw away could have been recycled or composted. Let's change that. Boulder is taking action to become a zero waste community. Zero waste means instead of using something once and then burying it, you send it to the right spot so it can be made into something new. Think of it as a loop instead of a one-way street. So let's talk about how to properly sort your trash into three categories. It really matters what you throw where, since the contents of each bin go to three completely separate facilities. Let's sort it out starting with recyclables. There are a lot of familiar items that can go into the recycling bin. We're going to give you a second to take that all in. Many people know that styrofoam is a recycling no-no, but so are plastic bags, plastic wrap, plastic utensils, and gloves. The number one thing to know, numbers on plastics and the recycling symbol don't matter. What matters more is the shape of the object. These bottles, tubs, jugs, and jars are all recyclable. The numbers are for the manufacturers. Something is only recyclable if it can be made into something new. Think a plastic bag sent to the wrong spot is no big deal? Think again. At least twice a day, jam bags have to be removed from the recycling center equipment. The second biggest problem item, coffee cups and lids. These cannot be recycled. Other confusing items include plastic lids. Be sure to leave them on. Berry containers, wax-coated drink boxes, bound notebooks, and staples are all okay. Give your food containers a rinse and ball up foil but resist the urge to crush cans and other items, which confuses sorting machines. We like to say that if it was alive in your lifetime, it can be composted. So that means all food waste, including meat, bones, and dairy. The heat at our compost site has the power to break down a pile of baby back rib bones and the mass of dirty napkins that piled up while you ate them. But plastic is another story. Keep anything plastic or plastic lined, like to-go boxes, out of the compost. Don't be conned by these faux compost items labeled biodegradable, organic, or natural. Your item must say BPI certified compostable. When in doubt, look for the BPI logo. Any contaminated paper products with food on them that would normally be recycled, like last night's pizza box, should now be composted. Last, and we hope to be least filled, landfill. Landfills are designed to keep out air, water, and sunlight while the trash sits there without breaking down for a long, long time. Only a fraction of what you throw away should end up in this dark, sad mountain of methane-releasing waste. For chip bags, squeeze tubes, styrofoam, anything plastic lined, dog poop, candy wrappers, these all go to the landfill. The recycling bin is for paper and containers, but keep out plastic bags, plastic-coated paper like to-go boxes, and coffee cups. Things like paper towels and tissues can join your food and yard waste in the compost. But again, please keep plastic out. Help Boulder become a zero waste community. Visit zerowasteboulder.com for a full list of items and where they belong. Together, we can help Boulder become a zero waste community.